What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Astra Near. So we are going to be doing something uh, a little different, but we're going to have to start in creative mode to make it happen. We're going to have to. So if you guys want to try this at home, make sure you are aware that you're starting in creative mode and you are going to be, be disabling all your achievements and all that fun stuff. But that's okay for us because we're going to have everything done. Fantastic. Let's go ahead. Let's move on. So what are we doing? We are going to be starting on a different planet. We're going to play like a normal game through playthrough but we're gonna do like a uh we're gonna do a starting on different planets kind of thing so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more <gasps> oh we're doing the things we're doing the things okay so uh we have to start here we have to like drop down do all this fun stuff i know it's terrible horrible awful now we don't need absolutely anything except for a shuttle of something just that's all we need that's it okay let's just grab that guy now in creative mode you don't need fuel you don't need anything like that so we can go ahead we can launch and say goodbye to silva bye silva bye silva it was fun but we're gonna go somewhere else now <laughs> uh so we're gonna head to glacio uh we actually did a twitch stream on sunday it went fantastic if you guys missed it twitch.tv slash you gaming links down below uh we had a blast over there we did the pretty much the same thing kind of wanted to test the theory before i uh before i made videos on it but hey it works and now we can do it. So uh, basically all you need to do is start in creative mode, grab yourself a, a shuttle and head to a different planet and then turn creative mode off. Wow, this one is like really close to that North Pole. Holy moly. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and exit. We're gonna grab this guy. We are going to delete it. And we're gonna go ahead and get a little area set up for our habitat and stuff. Uh. I don't even know where I want these. Let's put it like right here, I guess. Um, I'm try I'm not trying to be too picky because like if you were starting the game, you wouldn't really have the choice. But uh, I'm just trying to make it so it's like not a horrible, terrible spot. So we'll just go ahead and like throw it like right here somewhere, maybe. Fantastic. That'll do its thing. Spread out. Boop. It's gonna do the the soil thing. Yeah. Awesome. It just wait. This just collected organic. My habitat collected organic. How does that happen? I have no idea. All right, so also we are going to want ourselves a, um, we're gonna want a landing pad. So the only landing pad that we can actually get is this one, but I figure that's okay because it's, I mean, it doesn't benefit us any extra in any way right now. So there's no reason to get it or no reason not to get it. Like this, this doesn't progress us in the game any further. I mean, I guess you could pick it up if you wanted to, but like, we're not gonna do that. We're not about that. Oh no, we're not and then let's see there is a platform that we would normally start off with we would start off with this type platform so we can go ahead and throw that guy down and then we would also start off with a medium printer medium printer yes so we're gonna actually need the we're gonna need the small printer plith real quick uh grab this guy and we want ourselves a printer fantastic go ahead delete that and that's it that's everything so let's go, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn creative mode off. Fantastic, back to the game. Now, once you start in creative mode, your whole game is technically creative mode. So you're still not gonna get anything, but all our things now require bytes. They require all the standard stuff. We don't have anything extra. We have, you know, the little platform, the printer. We have a, a launch pad deal. That's what we have. We are now starting on Glacio. It's fantastic. I know, right? I'm super excited. All right, so, oh. Uh... So I actually don't see any resin or compound here, which is terrible because normally there's compound and resin here. Wait, how much is that? Ooh, 325, heck yeah. Uh, normally there's resin and compound with usually in these little areas, but there's not in this one. All right, there's some compound and resin. Okay, good, 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 good. So we have compound, we have resin, we're good to go. We gotta grab this real quick. Actually, let's grab the resin to start with and we can make ourselves a uh, oxygenator filter thing. Perfect, okay, let's go ahead and make a O2 filter. Fantastic. And then let's go grab some compounds so we can tether back up here to do the things. Oh, yes. And a full backpack of compound and resin has been acquired. Perfect. So that will allow us to do the things in the beginning. Okay. Whew, I was a little worried. I was like, man, are we not going to find the compound and resin? This would be terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm going to tell you right now, once we start on like Aatrox or something, oh, things are going to be rough there. <laughs> oh, things are going to be rough. Okay. Uh, so we have 325 25 bytes. I need to get a canister pretty quick. And then I, yeah, I definitely want the canister so we can kind of like flatten out our little, a uh, little base area right here. And I need to go into a cave so we can get some bites. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. Let's go get ourselves into, into a cave. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's leave. 
let's leave some of these here. We'll keep we'll keep a resin with us for safety. But let's go ahead and grab some more tethers. And we're gonna tether down to uh, the first cave layer so we can grab some of those wonderful, wonderful bites. All right, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start heading down right here. I love the color of the soil. It's just, it's a good color. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. I think you guys know exactly what I'm saying. It's a fantastic color. Such a nice, dark, rich red, you know? Hey, I see an opening. Okay, cool. So I'm trying to make this uh, like tall enough too. That way it's not like super constricting and confining because I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to go in a cave that's a like, super teeny tight. You know those people that do like the underwater cave diving and they have to like take their stuff off and like push it through the holes and stuff like that? Like, no, thank you. Oh my gosh, I get anxiety just thinking about that. That's terrible. I don't even want to think about it. Let's not talk about it anymore. And we made it to the cave layer. Perfect. Okay, so also, guys, we have a, go a giving a giveaway going on right now. We're giving away three physical copies of Astroneer. I have a link down below. It's going to take you to a video on my second channel. I have a second channel. So if you guys want to check out the second channel, make sure you subscribe and stuff like that over there. But I'm going to link you to a video over there. That's going to have all the information, all the fun stuff. I would greatly appreciate the support. And I mean, three physical copies of Astroneer stickered and signed by me, myself and I. So uh, yes, that is going on. So it's it's pretty good time. It is a pretty good time. Um, okay. So I need some of these right here. These little research bite deals. These are what we came for because look at this. <gasps> oh, research on Glacio is not even an issue. Uh, can you go away? I can't dig you out, can I? You're just gonna have to explode. Can you explode? Go away. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's grab, uh, let's grab these. Oh, I love these. Oh, these are such mm, delicious, delicious research. Okay. All right. So I'm going to run a line of tethers pretty much straight out this way. That way it covers like the most area and we can always run back to our tethers if we need to for anything. Oh, I don't want to get, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm getting like stuck like a half a pixel under the ground, which, uh, it used to be an issue and it may, might've come back. I don't know. Uh, I imagine that getting fixed pretty quickly though. Uh, I don't know if you guys are running into the same issue or not. Um, okay, let's just keep let's just keep going. All right, so we went out like three, maybe four sacks of tethers. Uh, I just went straight out and we went pretty far. So I'm gonna grab the research that I can see like right next to the path and all the way back, and we'll see how much we end up with. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, these things are worth uh, they're they're worth quite a bit, and they're pretty frequent. Like they're not like they're not literally everywhere, but they're they're fairly. They're fairly frequent. Like there's some right there. Might be some over here. We got some titanium over here. Oh, it's going to be great. We're going to have like, oh, titanium, titanium from the beginning. I love it. I love it. So grab some research on the way back. We got some things. How much bites? How many bites do we have? 8,700. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, I love Glacio. Glacio, you are so good to me. This is, oh, this is, it's got to be my favorite planet. It's got, it's just like there's the research. It has the best research. It has the most ammonium. It has uh, titanium. It has iron. It's just a great planet all around. Okay, so uh, we need some basic things, obviously. Obviously, we need some basic things. So we're going to need the smelting furnace, 100%. We're going to need a soil centrifuge, 100%. Chemistry lab, we cannot make that because we don't have tungsten. Tungsten is not on this planet. Uh, we don't have tungsten. Let's see. Um, an oxygen tank might be handy, but we do need a drill mod for sure. So let's go drill mod one. We can't do drill mod two because it requires tungsten. Drill mod three requires diamond, which requires the chemistry lab, which requires tungsten. So we have to leave that planet. Uh, so we'll get drill mod one. And then let's also get a uh, shuttle. My gosh, this is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. It's the fastest we, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, it requires tungsten. Okay, so solid fuel thruster. Uh, and then what else? Ooh, you know what else I want? I want a medium storage silo. Yes, please. Okay. So we have, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One more thing. Large platform type B. Yeah, we don't want, we want, we don't want to be making those type A platforms. Those things are terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right. So let's go ahead and get these guys rocking and rolling. Uh, we're going to print a couple of these. We're going to make some of the other things. Um, mm, mm, mm. We're going to need aluminum as well. We're going to need some clay as well but we can always get the soil centrifuge for the clay so i'm not super worried about that all right we got a couple platforms i went and did a few things i went and grabbed some more uh compounds some more resin i kind of got this flattened out a little bit ish so things are looking fantastic and let's go ahead and get some of these placed out now how do i want to do these um let's see let's do 
Let's go ahead and get these unpacked. We need both of these. And you know what? Hold on. Actually, before we get any of these going, let's see. One, two, one, two. Oh, I got a lot of organic. Uh, hey, I collected organic too, guys, just so you know. Uh, let's grab a smelting furnace. That's going to be key for our uh, developmental. <laughs> Super key for us. Uh, let's go ahead and place this one right here. Now, the reason I'm placing this one so far away is because if we come in and out of here, um, I'm probably going to want to go back here. And I think this is going to be like the main side of our base right here ish. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's leave stuff at an angle. Let's do some let's do some angular stuff a little bit and we'll kind of like go out and then I, I don't know. We'll we'll figure, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, it's it's a learning experience. This kind of should be flipped around the other way, though. Hmm. All right. Well, well, that guy prints. Let's go see if we can't find some aluminum and maybe some titanium that's not in this uh, this bluish color stuff here. Because if it's in that bluish color stuff, I can't do anything with it because I don't have. Oh, okay, there's some aluminum right there. That's fantastic. Uh, let's just start with this. Oh, I can't take this guy out either. I don't think. Nope, can't take that guy out. Okay, let's just grab some aluminum so we can get a soil centrifuge, and we can use the soil centrifuge to get ourselves some clay so we can get a drill mod so we can actually drill some of this stuff. All right, you know what? We have we have one aluminum. That's good. <laughs> That's good enough. Uh, that guy was starting to shoot at me. I didn't like it. Wasn't a nice guy. We're gonna just get we're just you know when you just it's the it, this is the bad part of the cave guys guys we just moved into a bad part of the cave the locals here just don't like me they just don't like me our smelter is online we can do this stuff all right so let's grab this guy throw it in here turn that on wonderful wonderful now what i need for the smelting uh, the soil centrifuge is one aluminum two compound guess what boop, boop. two compound one aluminum on the way Bam. and aluminum thank you for that i do appreciate it let's go ahead and yeah Soul centrifuge, yes, please. That's gonna take forever to print. Wonderful, wonderful, not wonderful. Um, and that looks good. We're gonna need clay out of that. I have a soil canister right here. Not a lot of soil. Let's go ahead and make a little quarry area. And this will be where we collect soil. And our canister's already full. <laughs> Fantastic. That was that was too easy. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a second canister. Why not? Let's get crazy. Let's get crazy and have two canisters. Second canister's full already. That was quick. <laughs> this thing is still printing. Oh, we really need power. We're gonna have to work on some power stuff. So I gotta say, Glacio is probably one of the easiest plans to start off on, honestly. Mainly because of the bites. It's it's so easy because you can just get bites like super quick, unlock the things that you want very easily. Now, the only the one of the things that like there's along a list of other things that this planet does not have. Does not have hydrogen. So hydrazine. Uh, is not going to be doable here. Even though all the ammonium's here, there's no hydro uh, hydrogen here. So we can't make the hydrogen. So we'll have to go off plan to get that. And there's no copper here either. So anything requiring like aluminum alloy or copper, uh, that's a no-go for us as well because we're going to have to trade or do something for it. And we can't trade until we go to the planet because we need tungsten. So it obviously doesn't have tungsten either. So it's not like the Omega planet. There's no like one, there's not one planet that has everything. But I got to say, Glacier's is probably one of my favorite planets to so like, definitely favorite ones to start off on because this has been a smooth smooth start as opposed to probably some other ones which we'll we'll check those out in the future all right so let's go ahead let's do one canister for now and let's get some clay so that'll give us three we'll go ahead and smelt that turn it into uh ceramic and get ourselves a drill mod so we can actually do the things and then we need what do we need we need titanium as well so we can get some storage because oh we are not going with regular medium storage. No, sir. We're going to go with medium storage silo. Titanium times two. Guess what? Titanium's all over the place. We can get that here. It's easy. I like it. You know, I think it might be time to change our visor. Uh, no, no pumpkin. It's not really spooky time anymore, you know? Oh, what is this suit looking, uh, overachiever? What does this look like in gold? Wow. Wow. Uh, wanderer gray. No, I'm good. I like the wanderer red. That one, that one's a good one. Um, oh, that looks super cool. I like it. Okay. Sorry, sidetracked. So let's get these all turned into clay. Let that do its thing. And then we're going to need ourselves a drill mod. One, one drill mod. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, so I can't get copper here, so I can't get the work light. And I do apologize because everything looks super dark. But I mean, I could go into creative mode and get it, but I don't want to do that because it's cheaty and I don't want to do that. Perfect. One ceramic, one drill mod. Uh, Okay, let's leave leave that there and then let's throw a canister on there go ahead and get that ready what are we gonna need probably probably resin probably resin that's probably what we'll use it for but let's go grab some titanium 
so we can start making some storage and get some things organized so things aren't laying on the ground everywhere looking like an absolute mess you know what we're gonna take out the stinky plant too come here oh 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 hold on i gotta put it gotta actually equip the thing or it won't work goodbye stinky plant you're a stinky plant we don't like you stinky plant <laughs> uh okay so titanium titanium has been spotted and it's actually not very far from my tether line, which is good because I didn't bring any more tethers. Maybe looking back on it, I should have. Um, yeah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Grab this out of the, the ceiling first. This stuff is a lot softer, especially with the drill mod, uh, whereas this stuff's a lot harder. Actually, can we do this method. Oh, we can indeed. We can indeed. So basically what this does is you uh, you pick a little area and you flatten below the surface. And it will kind of go ahead and get some uh, some of the soils for you. <laughs> Winning! Uh, grab this one. Nice. Nice. And we'll grab some research. I'm all about that research. Okay, cool. Uh, it looks like we are actually almost full on titanium. So we'll just take this. We'll head back. Perfect. Titanium's doing its thing. I like it. Now, we're actually... I'm going to go back and grab some more of that aluminum. Because we're going to need that for our shuttle. We're going to need that for some thruster stuff. We're gonna need that for a whole bunch of stuff. So we might as well get as much of that as we can. What is this? Is that graphite? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Also graphite's all over the place on Glacial. It's fantastic. Perfect. Come to me, my aluminum. Now it'll be, oh, it's super easy to mine this. It's fantastic. Yes, drill bot, you're saving me. Unfortunately, it is using power, but that's okay. We have, we have enough power right now. All right, well, that's, that's it. That was super quick. Uh, let's see, we have some quartz over there. We don't really need the quartz right now yet we will though we will maybe i should throw a quartz no we have a beacon right here okay all right we have two titanium that's good let's go ahead and throw two aluminum on there grab these and ooh, i don't have a small printer i don't even have a small printer yet what am i doing we need the uh little guy yeah little teeny tiny printer guy uh let's actually go ahead and throw you there and throw you there I want some medium storage silo action. Fantastic. Let's go and turn this off so we can get this stuff stored faster. One storage silo done. Thank goodness. Uh, we can go ahead and turn this back on. <gasps> now we can throw all of these on here. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And then once that titanium gets done, we can throw on even more. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a little bit of organic on here because we're going to need the carbon anyways. And I actually don't need this much organic uh, by any means. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, you know what let's uh, we'll just throw it all on there it'll be fine we'll turn we'll get a whole bunch of carbon for no reason right now <laughs> we don't we just don't need it yet uh let's go ahead and throw these on here gosh we need another one is there another uh only one titanium done huh but um all righty guys that's gonna end this episode hopefully you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more uh we'll probably do one more episode of the uh the glacio starting base and then we'll probably move on to another planet. We'll probably start on a different planet. So let me know. What, leave a comment down below. Let me know which planets you think I should do next. Now, I know people are going to say Aatrox because Aatrox is probably going to be the most difficult one to start with. So we might try to do that one next. I don't know. Let me know where you guys want me to start. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, probably there's going to be one more episode on this one. And then we will head to another one. Also, again, with the giveaway link down below, make sure you're checking that out. It's a good time. It's awesome. I'm super excited that uh, Ashton came out on hard copies on PlayStation 4 now. It's amazing. It feels good. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. Hopefully you have a fantastic week, and I will see you in the next one.